I, 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 I say two comments in particular. One is the show as a whole is a very good, high quality show. It gives the feel of being well organized, and that's a real boost, I think, to the region because right. people are drawn from everywhere to see this show. That's important. Now, then, more specifically, when you get down to these works that were done today in the field, plein air, that just the act of doing that impresses me. That's not an easy job. Okay. People talk to you, people ask you questions. You know, it's cold or it's hot. So, now plein air, what for us? Plein air is, is just working outdoors. Instead, it's much easier for an artist to, to go out and make a sketch outdoors, you know, or take a photograph, go back in a nice warm studio, get a cup of coffee, sit back and take lots of time to make that look right. These guys are under the pressure of, it, it's got to be done today, okay. you know, and there's no studio to retreat from. If it's cold, your hand's cramped. If it's hot, you're sweating away. Very tough to do it. And yet it's a favorite of, of a variety of artists because it's, it's a real pure and honest expression. You're right out there with those colors and those feelings. And if you went back to the studio, you know, you probably remember it differently. So it's a, it's a real prize to be able to do this. And I was saying to Alice that she's managed to attract a really strong grouping of artists willing to do this kind of work fresh, clean outdoors. And it's one of the strongest groupings I've seen in two years. Now, and did you pick this one here for... Well, we have we our first, second, and third. In this case, it was a very hard decision from the grouping because I think they're all very strong. I, I, I like the vibrancy that this particular painting captured more than any of the oh, show. Pretty. Pops right to life. Now, earlier this morning, you know, we had a lot of fog, even as we knew it was going to clear. But, but this painter manages to give you the fact the sun's coming out popping off all those great colors and it's a nice cottage scene anyway i like the way the architecture though gives you some regularity in with the all the squashes of you know the leaves and the foliage so i was really turned on by that and then over here now see this is a, a little less drama here a little more calm right um and where that one is sort of bubbly and excited this is a little bit more contained and, and almost um almost like you meditative, you know, and I, I really like that about it. it. And it's so solid Indiana, so solid this this particular region. Right. You know, you, you almost know you've been there. So I really like that. Over here, this is this is romantic, I think. Okay, this has got the darks in there and the purples and this artist has been able to convey shadow and light at the same time and really give a moody, ethereal quality to that. I was really really taken by by this one in that way. So I kind of like that whole sense of moving from wow, wow, to a little more subtle and a little more thoughtful to romantic. I, I loved it. Great, great quality work. Uh, they're all good. This, again, a lot of jazz, a lot of vibrancy. Uh, more, more thoughtful, more reflective. I like the, the idea of this person does the stream underneath the bridge, you know, instead of backing up and getting the bridge in there too. That's a unique perspective. Kind of like that. Now over here, I was impressed by how anybody could take sort of a debris scene and, you know, those highway divider things and really bring those into a pretty nice painting. What job well done here. I, I watched this person working hard all day long today and uh, I thought that's a brave choice for subject. Good job.